Mike Tyson, what he does is two dimensional. He's going to come at you, trying to knock you out. <laughs> oh, now you got to try and stay away from him. Welcome to the saga of an ageless Titan clashing with a modern gladiator. As Mike Tyson prepares to face Jake Paul in what promises to be a seismic event in Dallas, Texas, the world waits in anticipation. Today, we delve deep into Tyson's training regimen, hints at a comeback both feared and revered in the boxing world. Mike Tyson, at 57 years young, is not just revisiting the ring, he is reinventing the ferocity that once defined him. His routine is nothing short of legendary, a blend of raw power and refined technique. Each day in the gym, Tyson embarks on a grueling journey, pushing his limits through a series of complex, six-punch combinations that recall the dynamism of his youth. The intensity in his eyes, vivid reminder of the Iron Mike who once sent shockwaves through the heavyweight division. As Tyson trains, his every move is calculated to instill fear and respect. His punches are not mere strikes, they are warnings. The speed and precision, seemingly untouched by time, suggest a fighter not just maintaining his prowess, escalating it. His regimen is a mix of rigorous strength training, relentless cardiovascular workouts, and sparring sessions that are less about testing his skills and more about honing his instincts. Amidst the buzz of Tyson's comeback, Lennox Lewis, the last undisputed heavyweight champion and a titan in his own right, watches with a mix of nostalgia and awe. I think uh, it's going to be a good fight. I mean, you know, Mike Tyson, what he does is two-dimensional. He's going to come at you, trying to knock you out. Now, you got to try and stay away from him. Mike Tyson's approach is mesmerizing, Lewis remarks during an interview at the Box Fan Expo. He's not just training, he's sculpting his legacy anew. Stay away from his power. I seen him, I seen him working out the other day and he, you know, he throws some good combinations. So those six punch combinations, he has to make sure, I'm talking uh, Jake Paul, make sure that he's not in the way of those punches because Tyson's a real fighter. Those six punch combinations, they're a message. Jake Paul needs to heed that message or he'll be overwhelmed. Tyson isn't just fighting, he's reclaiming his time, his throne. Lewis continues, seeing Mike like this, it's like watching a force of nature. He's two dimensional in his focus, multi-dimensional in his execution. He's a vortex, one that Jake must navigate with caution. The power, the intensity, it's all there. We saw him working out the other day. He's 57 years young. He's still got it. He's still got it in his eyes. He's still got it in the body. Oh yeah, no, Tyson can throw a punch. He can take a punch. So, you know, he's doing something that he's used to. Within the electrifying buildup to the fight, Lennox Lewis has repeatedly offered stern warnings to Jake Paul, emphasizing the critical need for caution and strategy. Jake needs to really understand what he's stepping into, Lewis pointed out in a recent interview. His tone a mixture of concern and earnestness. Mike Tyson isn't just another opponent. He's a whirlwind of power and precision. He's going to come at you trying to knock you out. That's his domain, his ring. I've seen him. Those six punch combinations are not just impressive, they're destructive. Jake has to ensure he's not in the path of those punches, or he's in for a world of trouble. Lewis's advice is not just a caution, a strategic blueprint for survival. Staying away from Mike's power, that's easier said than done, Lewis continued, highlighting the daunting challenge Paul faces. I've observed Mike's sessions, the intensity and ferocity he brings, even now, something Jake must prepare for like never before. It's about agility, it's about being smart in the ring, knowing when to engage, when to retreat. Lewis's repeated cautions underscore the high stakes of this fight, marking it as not only a physical, but a tactical battlefield where every move could determine victory or defeat. And Mike Tyson's that different thing. Right. It could be one of those fights where Mike Tyson gets him in a corner and connects with a punch and Jake Paul just goes limp. Mm -hmm. Tyson at 57 is a reminder that age is but a number when your spirit knows no bounds. In Tyson's camp, Strategy discussions are underpinned by a simple yet profound acknowledgement. Mike Tyson is not stepping back into the ring to participate. He's there to dominate. The team meticulously analyzes Jake Paul's fights, dissecting his style, anticipating his moves, and planning counterattacks. Tyson's coach whispers strategy, but his eyes speak of wars from decades past that taught him the price and prize of being undisputed. As fight night approaches, Tyson's training intensifies. The sound of gloves against pads, a rhythmic beat that underscores a warrior's preparation. It's not just about physical readiness, it's about mental fortitude. 
Tyson's regimen is crafted to ensure that his mind is as sharp as his punches. Meditation, visualization, and psychological warfare are all parts of his arsenal now. The world watches, some with bated breath, others with skeptical murmurs. Can Tyson truly return to form? Does Jake Paul stand a chance against a seasoned veteran whose very name evokes images of knockouts and victories? The fight is more than a match. It's a cultural phenomenon. It bridges generations, contrasting the raw power of the old guard with the brash confidence of the new. As the day of the showdown looms, the question remains, what happens when an unstoppable force meets an untested object? Mike Tyson, with fire in his veins and history in his corner, is not just ready, he's ravenous. Jake Paul, bold and unyielding, is eager to prove his mettle. Dallas, Texas, in a ring too small to contain their ambitions, legends will collide, and only one will emerge victorious. Join us, witness history, and remember, when titans clash, the world stands still. Stay tuned as we bring you closer to the action, with exclusive insights and behind-the-scenes peeks into one of the most anticipated fights in recent history. Subscribe, like, and share as we count down to a night that will redefine what it means to be a champion. This is not just a fight. It's a testament to the enduring allure of boxing. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. You move when you move in. Boom, almost like the overhand. Boom, your hands out here, your hands up. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, because I'm right here. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Boom, again. good <laughs> you think it's cool? Oh. That's awesome. Conqueror, no, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. You know, he's, he's going to do what he's going to do. But I, I, at least I know. I talked to um, I talked to his wife a couple of days ago, and he's taking this serious and he's training for it. And you know, so we'll see. How